Alright, what's going on guys? I'm back at it again in here for another video and in here for a pretty quick video. Just giving my thoughts and opinions on what happened with the CM Punk and Cloak and Bannon podcast and CM Punk actually speaking out for the first time or why he left WWE. Hopefully you guys are having a really good Thanksgiving weekend. I know I sure am. And I'm not really gonna say that like he's a quitter or anything like that. This is just me. Speaking from my mind and what I feel about the whole entire situation in short, if you will, just going to keep it short and sweet pretty much. And if you haven't checked out that podcast, definitely go check it out. Uh, try and leave a link down below in the description box, but I'm sure you can probably find it easier on uh, YouTube. So I'm sure you can find it easy there. And uh, with that being said, he just basically got tired of being able to deal with injuries and stuff like that. And in a way, got tired of broken promises, if you will. Now, could he have gone at it differently in a more better way? Sure, I think so. But, you know, to me, in a way, so I feel like he will come back over time and just really is not as happy as he once was and being able to deal with injuries and stuff like that and uh, being able to that have uh, things go the way that they should have and everything like that. And, you know, I really did pretty much learn a lot, too, from that podcast. And it's actually more better to actually hear from CM Punk himself and not from other people like that through rumors and everything like that. Because with that, you really don't know what's true or not or have an idea, really. So, you know, uh, I think over time he will eventually come back. You know, to me, he's just basically now just... Resting things up and as well, you know, being able to do other things and feel happy in a different way. And eventually, once he's all set and basically more at 100% and feeling more fresher and not so burnt out in a way, then I think in time he will eventually come back to WWE and being able to do the stuff that he does and what he wants to do and being able to feel more better that way. And if you get what I'm saying, so. Uh, you know, a lot was said in the podcast, you know, in the way it came off and in some ways as a shoot to me, at least that's me and my personal opinion, but, uh, you know, I'm still a fan of CM Punk, I'm not going to be over the top or anything like that, uh, but, you know, I still am a fan of the guy and would like to see him come back, so, uh, a long time ago, of course, we saw Stone Cold and, you know, with his situation, he wasn't able to come back for a while for other certain things, so I kind of feel in some ways... It is kind of like that, and now I hope that, you know, he'll feel more well-rested and being able to do other things that he wants to do as well, and, you know, being able to be himself that way and not sober now and feel more relaxed once he does come back and uh, finish up some storylines, you know, maybe work with him and Triple H and other people that he hasn't been able to face because there are a lot of new people that have been able to come around to, especially with NXT and all that stuff, so there are plenty of people that he can be working with too once he does come back, so I do feel that, you know, in time it will happen, but not worry away, of course, not overnight and everything like that, but, you know, pretty soon, uh, maybe by next year, who knows, but that's really up in the air at this point, so, uh, you know, just wanted to give my thoughts on that just pretty briefly, so... Uh, overall, definitely go check out the podcast. It is worth it, I think, in my personal opinion. But, of course, let me know what your thoughts are overall on the whole steampunk situation. Do you feel he'll eventually come back once everything just dies down and, and relax? And, you know, with the things, too, you know, that were said and everything, uh, with him being able to work with the injuries and stuff like that, it wasn't really called for, honestly. Uh, that could have been changed up more differently and be able to have him... Uh, more arrested and be able to work 100%, which I think is fair and everything like that. And, uh, you know, it would have been nice to, uh, to see him in an actual movie. He was supposed to get that in 12 rounds, but of course, uh, that went to Randy Orton at the time and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, it was definitely something interesting. So, definitely go check it out and give it a listen. And with that being said, hopefully, you guys, like I said, are enjoying your Thanksgiving weekend. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.